everyone, welcome to this tutorial video on Wagon Wheel. I had a request for this song, so I'm going to go over a couple different ways to play it. I'm going to play it the way you saw in the intro here, but I'm also going to give you a simplified version because the tricky part about this song is not necessarily the chords. The chords themselves are pretty simple. G, E minor, and C, and D. The hard part is the swing feel that this song has. So the timing is not on the downbeat. So one, two, three, four. It kind of swings. You can kind of rock with it. It has a little bit of like almost like a triplet feel to it. So we're not going to play our rhythm just straight up and down or it won't sound exactly like the song. So the easy way to do that is to just play half of the strumming pattern instead of the full pattern. But first, let's say, let's just go over the chord progressions that are in this song. So this song is fairly competitive. So if I look at my chord chart over here. The verse is G, D, E minor, C, followed by G, D, C, C. And that's it, it just repeats that for the entire song over the verses and over the choruses. So the chorus, um, actually, yep, nope, the chorus is the same too. G, D, E minor, C, G, D, C, C. So once you get through those eight measures, you just keep repeating that for the entire song. So that's what's great about this song is that it's repetitive and the chords aren't necessarily that hard. So let's jump to the strumming pattern. So we are doing kind of like an eighth note one and two and three and four and. So the simple way to do it is just to do the first half of the strumming pattern. So we'll start with the G chord, since that is the first chord of the song. So all I want you to do is one, two and. So it's gonna be down, down, up. So it'll sound like this. One, two and. One, two and. So that would be down, down, up, down, down, up. And then you would do nothing over the three and four beat. So it'd be one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Down, down, up, three, four. And you would do that for each chord. So if I played with the song, it would be G, down, down, up, three, four. D, three, four, E minor, and then C. So that's how you can play with the song without getting into too much of the swing pattern. Now, if you're gonna play the way I played it in the intro and the way I'm going to play along with the song, the pattern is going to be one, two, and, and four, and. So there's no down strum on the three. So it would be down, down, up, that first half of the pattern, and then we're gonna do up, down, up. So there's two ups in a row, which sometimes for people can be tricky, which is why I call this a little bit more of an intermediate song if you're gonna play the whole strumming pattern. So again, from the beginning, it's one, two, and, and four, and. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one. not like what you would use for kind of green day time of your life where you got down down up up down up down down up up where it's very it's very on the beat it's kind of down down up so the pause between the two ups is extended a little bit so it's almost like we're playing the up of a 16th note triplet so don't worry about that too much or not a 16th note triplet it's like we're playing the upstrum of a of a of a triplet here. So it'll be one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. So we're kind of playing that up a little bit further back than where we would normally play it. So you don't want to go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. It's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. So it just has a little bit more of a hop to it 
And that is really the only challenge to this song is the strumming pattern. So let's go through from the beginning. It's going to start with a G chord. So the verse and the choruses are G for one measure, then followed by D, then we have E minor, and C. Then we go back to G, followed by D, and then two Cs. repeats again. So if I start from the first verse, headed down south to the land of behind. I'm coming my way in a North Carolina. I'm staring at the road. Pray to God I see headlights. Well, I made it down the coast in 17 hours. Picking me a bouquet of dog I'm hoping for our last so I can see my baby tonight. Now to the horse the easy way. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock So, you know, so that version I was just doing is the Darius Rucker version, which doesn't use a cable at all. But if you like the old, uh, I think it's Old Snow Medicine Pro, I think that's what the name of the band is. Um, they have a folkier version, which is a little bit higher. So all you do is you take a capo and you clip it at the second fret and you play the same exact chords. It just makes things a little easier to sing if you're a female like myself. Um, it'll change the key so that it's higher uh, and might make it a little bit easier because some of the notes in that chorus are pretty low. So you would just play the same exact chords just with the capo on the second fret so it sounds like this. So rock me mama like a wagon wheel, rock me and mama any way you feel, hey, hey, hey mama rock me, so this is way easier for me to sing now. Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, mama, rock me. So for my female alto voice, um, throwing a capo on the second fret gets it almost perfectly in line with where my voice needs to be. So if you are a singer and you like singing and playing the guitar, you can play around with moving the capo. It, it's an easy way to change the key of a song without having to change the chords. So the chords are the same, but even if you move this up to the fourth fret, you can't even think of that. So there you go, I can really like, that's probably way too high for me. You could also sing it in an octave down from there, but I just want to show you by moving this, we can really adjust the pitch of the song depending on where you want to sing it. So there you go, that is Wagon Wheel. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and a little bit about capos, and I'll see you in the next video.